Hello, everyone. I'm Hao Tianzhang from Stanford University. I will present our work, Way to Player Controllable Video Sprites That Behave and Appear Like Professional Tennis Players. These days, videos of professional sporting events, like these videos of Wimbledon, are widely available on the internet. Meanwhile, it is also possible to annotate these videos with off-the-shelf computer vision models, such as human segmentation, post key points, and chord lines. In this paper, we are interested in the question: Can we take all these videos, along with machine and human-generated annotations, and use them to synthesize interactively controllable video sprites of star tennis players? Here is an example result from our system. This video, featuring stars Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic playing a competitive point, may look like a real broadcast tennis video, but it is actually completely generated by our system. The stars both look and behave like their real-life counterparts. Our goal is to create virtual characters that look, move, and behave in simulated points like star tennis players. To achieve this, our work makes the following contributions. First, we use domain knowledge to design a racket sports-specific state machine that is used to control and synthesize our video sprites. Second, inspired by the field of sport analytics, we build player-specific data-driven behavior models that predict a player's shot selection and court positioning decisions, which are used as control inputs for the state machine. Third, we provide methods for preparing a large database of real-world broadcast footage for use in a rendering system based on controllable video textures. In this paper, we make use of the shot cycle state machine, a key granularity in tennis, into the design of our system. In a shot cycle, a player first moves to the incoming ball, makes ball contact, and hits the ball to a specific location shown in red. Note that also after the ball contact, the player recovers to a new position on the court to prepare for the next shot, shown in blue. The shot cycle state machine repeats for each of the two players over and over until the point ends. We use the structure provided by our shot cycle state machine to synthesize novel points from real-world footage. Starting with unannotated broadcast tennis videos, we first extract the shot cycle clips and organize them into a database. To make our tennis players behave like real-world players, we build player-specific behavior models from the database examples. These models predict shot selection and player recovery position goals. Next, we select the shot cycle clip where the player best meets desired behavior goals. Finally, to make the synthesized tennis players look realistic, we manipulate these video clips to ensure visual continuity, such as adjusting lighting conditions. The result of this process, repeated for multiple shot cycles, is a synthesized novel point. Here we show a few more results. We can also create matchups that have never been seen before, such as Roger Federer playing against himself at Wimbledon or even against Serena Williams. Our system also allows the user to interactively control star tennis players. Here the user is controlling Djokovic in the near court. The right dot illustrates where Djokovic should hit the ball, and the blue box specifies his court positioning after each shot. In conclusion, in this paper, we create virtual characters that look, move, and behave like star tennis players. Second, our system is largely data-driven, but it benefits significantly from injecting domain knowledge of tennis into our system's design. Specifically, we use the shot cycle state machine to structure the player's behavior model and use learning to obtain critical behavior distributions from the data. It is also interesting to think about how we can create or potentially learn state machines in other multiplayer sports scenarios. 
Finally, we are excited by the content creation potential of creating rich human characters from watching videos of people performing complex activities. Thank you.